Hi everyone! In this tutorial I'm going to go over some of the basics of Digication, some of the tabs and links that you'll see on your Digication ePortfolio. I'm only going to be covering the ones that you might touch on, so for the ones that are irrelevant I'm not going to cover those. So let's start on the left side of the page. You'll see this home button here. If you ever get lost just click on home and then you will get to the page where you'll see your ePortfolio. You can go ahead and just click on your ePortfolio and that will bring you back to this page here which is your welcome page and you can start working on your ePortfolio. Over to the right side of the page you'll see a log out button. This is where you can log out. Sometimes when you're logged out it will say log in and you can just click on that to get right back in. If you ever need help and you want to contact Digication directly you can click on this help button here and that will allow you to contact them for help. You'll see some tabs here. The edit tab is where you'll make edits to your ePortfolio, so changes, if you want to fix anything, that's in the edit tab. If you click on the design tab, this is where you can change the background, you can change colors of your ePortfolio and things like that. That's all here. If you are interested in seeing what your professors see, you will click on published. And this is what anyone who has your link We'll see. So you might want to check this often and make sure everything's um, correct in the way it's supposed to be. A little bit more to the right, you'll see portfolio tools. There's a couple things in here. Starting with settings, you can change your settings here. You can also find your um, ePortfolio URL here if you've ever lost it. It's in your settings. If you need to download your ePortfolio, you can download an offline version using this button here. If you ever wanted to make a copy for whatever reason, maybe you are trying to make a version of your ePortfolio that's available to employers, you can make a copy here. Or maybe you just want to specify it or make it a little bit more relevant to your major, you can make a copy here. If you ever needed to transfer pages between ePortfolios or even within your one ePortfolio, you can use this organized tool. You can uh, move pages around and you can copy things on your ePortfolio. And then finally, if you don't like your ePortfolio, you want to get rid of it, you can click on delete. So that's this button here. You'll see right here is the banner. You can change this in your settings or sometimes you can change it in your design tab. You'll notice that your name is on the page over here. If it's not, I recommend that you put your name here. This can be found in settings where it says title of your ePortfolio. You can just change it to your name. Use the name that your professors know you by. You'll also see over here a talk bubble. This is where conversations can be had with your professors. So um, only you and your professors should be able to see these. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see sections of your ePortfolio. These are the four standard sections of your ePortfolio, and I recommend that you keep them this way, so don't add or change it. Although if you do need to for a different ePortfolio, it would be in this tab here. There are four sections, as you can see. The Welcome tab will have an introduction to your ePortfolio, as well as an introduction to you and your story. Your Goals and Outcomes page will have your goals, and then the SLCC outcomes, and those outcomes will be linked to evidence of your learning. So that's that page. You can watch the video on that later. The coursework page will have subpages of your classes, and within those class pages are your assignments, reflections, and so on. Your learning outside of class page will have activities and things that you do outside of class that you'll be filling in. So if you volunteer, you can write about that and so on. You can watch the video on that later. On the left side, you'll see that there are pages and you can add or edit any sub pages to the sections of your page. You can go ahead and add modules over here with this button and you can add different types of modules such as videos, images, and so on. You can also watch the video on that later, and I'll have that linked. If you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see in this workspace, 
the module that is a rich text module. And there are four different tabs here. It usually is on the view text um, tab first, so you, that would just be looking at it. If you click on edit, you can make changes. You can publish the module by clicking on publish, and this will publish just that specific module versus a publish button that will be in this area when you've saved more than one module. And you can publish all of your modules all at once using that button. You can also delete this module if you choose to. And finally, there's a drag to reorder button on the side here. It works best if you actually reorder in the design tab. So I recommend going there if you need to reorder your modules. If you scroll down, there are um, different comment settings down here. You can turn things on or off, and that's pretty much all to your dedication, the portfolio. Thanks for watching.